Shabbat Shalom, family, Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother, Shaul Yisrael. Coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading on this Shabbat Eve from the book of Jasher, chapter 2, starting at verse 3. Jasher, chapter 2, and starting at verse 3. Again, Jasher chapter 2, starting verse 3, and I read, And it was in the days of Enosh that the sons of men continued to rebel and transgress against El, to increase the anger of Yahweh against the sons of men. And the sons of men went and they served other Elohim, and they forgot Yahweh, who had created them in the earth. And in those days, the sons of men made images of brass and iron, wood and stone, and they bowed down and served them. And every man made his Elohim, and they bowed down to them. And the sons of men forsook Yahweh all the days of Enosh and his children. And the anger of Yahweh was killed on account of their works and abominations, which they did in the earth. I read that to say this, as it was then, so it is now. In the days of before the flood, man's witness was great in the earth. For the cause, it led Yahweh to bring forth the judgment of the flood. Wherein only eight souls was shown mercy and favor to escape the judgment of the flood. That same mindset and unrighteous habit is still in the earth. When man have rejected the living and true El Yahweh in favor of his own mighty ones, of his own Elohim. Because when you reject obedience to Yahweh's word, you are choosing to serve another mighty one. And that mighty one is the mighty one of self. Because when one chooses to reject obedience to Yahweh's word, one is choosing to serve their own will, their own manner of living. And in so doing, you are angering our Yahweh and you are placing yourself under his judgment. For the cause, those who are rejecting obedience to Yahweh's word know of a surety that Yahweh's judgment is coming for you. Yahweh is set to prepare judgment for the United States of America for her multitude of sins that has reached up to Shamaim. Those who are presently living in transgression of Yahweh's word, you will not escape it. You will not survive it. But it will overcome you. For the cult, I exhort and admonish and warn you. You must repent of your transgressions before that judgment comes upon this earth. For if you don't repent, you will be swept up in that judgment. For only the redeemed 
will be able to survive it. Don't be as our ancestors before the flood who continue to rebel and transgress against Yahweh. Because in continuing to rebel and transgress against Yahweh, you increase his anger against you. And Yahweh in mercy is withholding his anger from the earth. But there will come a point where he will withhold his mercy and unleash his anger upon the earth. And when he does that, you won't survive it. Because Yahweh is angered with the children of men who continue day in, day out, from month to month, from year to year, to thumb their nose at Yahweh's mercy. Yahweh is set to unleash his judgment upon the United States. Those who are sinners, you will not survive it. For the cause I warn you, you must repent. You must be righteously sorrowful for transgressing, for rejecting Yahweh's word and turn from that rejection unto faithful obedience to the word of Yahweh. Judgment is coming. It's a time to prepare yourself for it. And the first step of preparation for the judgment of Yahweh is repentance. For in repentance, you acknowledge that you have transgressed his word, you have rejected his word, and that you declare, you vow to turn from transgression of Yahweh's word. And in that vow, the turn, you'll begin to submit yourself to his word by taking on the name of his brother's son in water baptism, by seeking Yahweh for his good and perfect gift that comes from Shamaim, the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue, and y'all permits one to speak. This is a warning to all transgressors, to sinners. It's time to repent. Don't waste and neglect the mercy of Yahweh that is extended towards you. You must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins. And then you may receive regeneration of your soul. And you must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially as by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak. For Yahweh has decreed judgment and when that judgment comes, those who are transgressors, you won't survive it. You won't escape it. But it will overcome you and consume you. Only the redeemed will be protected in the hour of Yahweh's judgment. Only the redeemed, only the chosen will be protected in the hour of our judgment. Now 
is the time. Today is, uh, is the hour and the acceptable time for you to get right with Yahweh. Not later, but now. Now is the time for you to submit yourself unto the word of Yahweh. For judgment is coming. If you're not in the ark of safety, which is the renewed man, Yeshua HaMashiach, you're not going to survive this judgment. I don't care what natural preparations you make, but if you're not in the ark of safety, which is the renewed man, Yeshua HaMashiach, you will not survive judgment. So I warn you, sinner man, I warn you, sinner woman, repent now. Repent now. Don't, don't, no, don't let these words fall on deaf ears. For if you let these words fall on, the, on deaf ears and judgment take you away, it won't be pleasant for you in the day of the white throne judgment. So I exhort and admonish you, sinner man, sinner woman, repent your sins. It's time to be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, that you may receive the pardon of your sins and the regeneration of your soul. It's time for you to seek Yahweh for his baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue and y'all permit one to speak. O oh, Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, continue to prepare your chosen, your elect ones, for your scheduled and decreed judgment upon the daughter of Babylon. Establish your word in our hearts, purify our hearts from every hidden transgression, O Yahweh. Direct our lifestyle to reverence and respect your set apart and most exalted name, O Yahweh. Those who are present transgressors of your word, I pray that you will extend your arms of mercy towards them. They cause them to consider the ways and to consider turning from their wickedness before your judgment comes. Continue to let miracles, wonders, and signs be done by the name of your Set up our child, Yeshua of Nazareth. Stir within your elect ministers, your elect messengers, your spirit, that your works may be made manifest unto your glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, O Yahweh, for bringing your servant through another week. Thank for your power, for your mercy, your favor, the Guard your servant that sustained and refined and increased my faith in the face of diverse temptation. Continue to watch over your elect ones scattered to the four corners of the earth, strengthening them during their present adversity and trial. Help them to know that you are their source. I thank you. I bless your self part and most of all the name of Yahweh. I give you glory, honor, and praise. So be it. So be it. Shabbat shalom.
my blood brethren, as always, I welcome your support, your prayers. Those who have been led to and are willing, please donate to the to Cash App and the PayPal. If you have any concerns or questions, please call me at 919-308-2495. May Yahweh bless all those who love Yahweh and delight in his word.